Y'all, Harry is not playing. He is not here to play games. He said, I'm tired of you guys. You mess with my wife. I really do appreciate that. And I have some things to say. And I'm going to release it all. Okay, this is not going to be one of those frou frou little books that we're going to put out. This is going to be something with some juice. This is going to be something with some tea. Because again, today, more tidbits have dropped of Harry talking about his family. I will say it's a sad situation because it's family, but there's no coming back from this. There's no coming back from this. They've accused, um, Harry has accused his brother of his cruel abuse at this point. And now apparently Camilla is being brought into the situation. I just saw a tweet that Harry was talking about William going bald prematurely. What is going on? Like, I'm enjoying myself, I won't lie. It's very interesting. It really, like, it's the greatest distraction for me right now. So I'm loving it all, but I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This was a plan. This is set in motion to take down the royal family, period. That is their goal. That is their end goal. That is their intention. Megan said, you're going to F with me? You're gonna F with me, I'm gonna F with you. It took a little bit of time, but now we have Harry here, and I guess a lot of people are saying that Megan has given him, I guess, this push to be able to do this. So, like, she has brought out the worst in Harry and this, then, the other, but like, let's not act like Harry's an innocent here. I still firmly believe that that fight did not go down with Harry handing um, William a glass of water at the end. Get the fuck out of here. It didn't end like that. We, both of us know that. Um, <clears throat> but I just feel like with this being family and it's all in the public and we have these two couples that are literally pitted against each other, they're not going to a coronation. They're not going to an effing coronation. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. And I know that the cops' offices and um, everybody at the Royal Palace and Buckingham Palace is going crazy. It's like a fucking beehive in there. Everybody is trying to... Crisis, crisis, red alert, red alert. And by the way, I'm whispering because I'm at my mom's house, but I'm so sorry. But yeah. This is not good. This is not good at all. The book has not even been released. And this is three tidbits we've gotten. And partially to me, I'm like, the third thing with the baldness, I saw on like a Pop Crave blog or something. So I'm like, is this a trolling thing? Is this an actuality? So I'm going to look into that a little bit more. And we'll go through what's being said and what Harry has put out in excerpts. Because you know this is all promo, right? Like, the book isn't released yet, so they're getting these snippets and excerpts from somebody. That's somebody's job to do, to put all this out here the way that they are. And now William and Kate are sitting back and watching everything fucking burn. Burn. He said, I am the spare. Yeah, I'm the spare, but I'm gonna burn it all down to the point where when you get to be king, you'll be a laughing stock. Like, this is spiteful revenge. This is like, I'm sorry. Like, a lot of people like Megan and they're saying, you know, the media is doing this because she's a black woman and this, that, and another. And I, I kind of get that because I definitely agree that the hate and stuff she's gotten online is absolutely insane. It's so fucking vile. Like, it's vile. Um, and it's excessive. And it's all day long. It does not stop. They continue to talk about this woman all the time. But at the same time, I do see some things in her. When she talks, I don't feel like it's genuine. That's just my feeling that I get when I listen to her. Like, and everybody in the comments, I feel like we can respectfully disagree with one another. Like, don't be mean. This topic is very heavy and like people have very strong feelings. But just be respectful when talking about your differences of opinions in the comments. Have a ball, but just be respectful. 
But I'm just like, what is going on over the pond and the palace? I want to be there. I want to be on the fly on the wall so bad. I want to be a reporter. I want to be standing outside of the walls of the palace, getting all the details as they come out. I want to see the people running from hallway to hallway through the big ass fucking windows they have, trying to figure out this shit and how they're about to shut it down. But there's no shutting this shit down, honey. There's no shutting this shit down. It's out here, and especially with social media, things move so fast. There's no shutting any of this down. So we'll see what the excerpts say. Hmm. Okay, so my mom just called me in because actually even on the news they're talking about this, okay? And she knows I like to follow this stuff. So apparently they're even saying that he talked about his cocaine use, losing his virginity, like hair loss, all this stuff. But he's talking about real shit, like it's going there. So I'm going to be ordering my book by the end of this goddamn video. Um, because we're going to be reading it here, I'm pretty sure. So if that's something that you would like to do, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested with, like, reading it with me. Or if that's extra, let me know that as well. But, um, basically about Camilla, that they begged him. He said me and Willie begged him not to marry her. But initially they accepted and knew that he was going to marry the woman that he always loved. He made no qualms about it. Let's be real. He made not one qualm about not fucking with Camille. Camilla. Like, he was always in her, like, the most disrespectful shit. The fact that she was at the wedding. The fact that he was making jewelry with their little nicknames. Just disrespectful shit. And that's a firm's fault because they knew... He was fucking with that woman and then they put this innocent girl Diana with him knowing that it was never gonna work it was never gonna work and she got hounded like fucking hounded like oh my god and the fact that when she died he said he didn't cry and his father never hugged him this is all I just saw on the news like I wonder what the cocaine use is gonna be about interesting oh also that William and Kate howled with laughter you know the um you know the he had the patch of the n-word um n-a-z-i he had that patch right and it was a Halloween costume with that patch and apparently they howled with laughter but he got in trouble but they thought it was funny He's going cut fucking throat. He said I'm burning it. They're talking about it everywhere. And all I can think about, because I'm so like, I just love to think about what certain people are doing in a certain moment. It's really weird. Um, all I can think about is these people. Like at whatever fucking time it is right now. Let me check. Cause I like to know that too. Never. It's 12 23 in the morning. I just know they're in their chambers, and William is ranting and raving and walking around their bedchamber, pissed. And Kate is having to sit there. I wonder if she's gonna scream. Like, I don't see her as like a screamer. Like, who knows? Um, she's probably just sitting there like, I cannot believe this. Like, we have to do something. Apparently no statement has been made yet. No statement has been made. So, we'll see how this is going to go. Because I just feel like this is just the tip of the iceberg. The book's not even out yet. I don't need to order it. The book's not even out yet. I need to pause this. Let me see if I can pull up that article. Hold on. <laughs> My tripod is so bootleg. It's literally an office chair with a pillow propped up. <laughs> but we're making it work. Um, so, 
literally the headline i'm going to page six my reliable source you know page six okay let's get into this harry william urged charles not to marry wicked stepmother camilla wicked stepmother he has the media in the public in the press calling camilla a wicked stepmother And apparently, Harry hopes that there's going to be some reconciliation. There is no reconciliation. Like, he's going for blood. And I can't help but think that Megan has a lot to do with it. I'm sorry. I can't help but think that. Because it is true that I've seen articles where, you know... They would portray Kate one way and then portray Megan this way. And I can very much see how the media has made this fester and have this contention between the two couples because they did pit them to, against each other. And jealousy is a natural human emotion. Imagine being here. Oh my God, Kate, you remember when she was married and her wedding, everybody had their eyes on her. And then this young pretty mixed girl from America comes in and rocked their fucking world. And they didn't know what to do about it. And it could have been because, I'm not trying to make excuses for anybody, but it could have been because Americans are different than the British. And her difficulty, rudeness, and abrasiveness I feel like as Americans, we sometimes get termed as being that way. Not that it's accurate. <clears throat> it could be a difference of like saying things, you know? I'm so on the fence with this. And I see a lot of people in the comment are also like both ways. But then a lot of people are like, fuck the British royalty. A lot of people are like, Megan is completely psychotic. I don't know. So that was the headline, Wicked Stepmother. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me see. Prince Harry shockingly reveals that both he and Prince William urged King Charles not to marry Camilla Parker Bowles. So at least they were on the same page on that. At least, because it's disrespectful. I'm sorry. Like. But in the autobiography, he spares no detail when he reveals how he and William are the product of the three in the marriage. Princess Diana, King Charles, and Camilla. Mm -mm -mm. Sources also told page six. I love how they say sources. Sources really like, and how do they get these sources? Do they immediately just get like an anonymous email? Kind of like um, Amber Heard in her Johnny Depp video where it just popped up an email of TMZ. And it's a source. Sources. Um, um. So sources also told page six that Harry goes into detail in the book about drug taking and teenage antics. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Despite William Lee urging him not to, Paul was going to go ahead. We pumped his hand, wished him well, no hard feelings. Because what are you going to do? He was always going to do what he was going to do. He was already doing it. <laughs> Sources previously told Page Six that Harry is no great fan of Camilla, with whom Charles reportedly renewed a romance with in 1986, ten years before divorcing Diana.
In the book he writes, I remember wondering if she would be cruel to me, if she would be like all the evil stepmothers in the stories. Um, so that's where they got the headline. She added, Willie had been, oh, he added, Willie had been suspicious of the other women for a long time, which confused and tormented him. When those suspicions, suspicions were confirmed, he felt agonizing remorse for not having done or said anything before. Mm. Ooh. Upon the death of Harry's beloved grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, in September, wow, September, time goes by so fast, he would be duty bound to curtsy for Camilla. That would make me feel a type of way. So they're pretty much used to this woman. They knew it was gonna happen, it was just a matter of time. She's here, and what are we gonna do about it? It's tolerated. <laughs> As what the queen did, she was tolerated. However, before her death, Queen Elizabeth gave Camilla her blessing, saying, When in the fullness of time my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife Camilla the same support that you have given me, and that it is my sincere wish that when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort. <sighs> Let's see what else. That's the end of the article. But yeah, you guys. Let me go ahead and order my dang on book. If it comes out on the 10th, when do I get it? If I pre-order it now, will I get it on the 10th? I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, I'm interested about the drug use. I'm interested about the hair loss. I'm interested for him to go deep because Megan doesn't go deep on her podcast. That fucking Netflix special was, you know, so if they're going to do all this, they got to make it worth it. And I think that they are. It's a wrap. So I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Actually, let me check. If there's anything else dropped out before I post this, hold on. How could I forget Harry saying that William's hair loss was alarming and that his looks and resemblance to Diana has faded with time. Happy New Year. <laughs> they said we're going to start at the top of the year and just keep fucking with you. <sighs> I love it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're going to order the book. Let me know if I should read it here on the channel and do like a follow along. Um, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye. My thing is though, if he's going to talk about... <laughs> If he's going to talk about William's looks fading and the hair loss, it's like, Harry, come on, really. Like, let's, let's be real. I just, I just want to be behind palace walls. I want to watch it all go down. I want to know what their strategy meetings are. What do they think they're going to do? They have to make a statement. It's not a situation where it's like, oh, say nothing. And it's just going to be swept under the rug. They're going to keep doing and saying something until they get a statement. That's what Megan wants. Megan also wants an apology. Formal, signed, sealed, delivered, a formal, public apology from the royal Effing family. <laughs> oh my god, it's a mess. 
That's a mess. And I can just imagine them sitting in their apartment. Harry, Megan, just on the computer, looking at what everybody's saying, fielding calls from press, trying to get insider shit. The publicists, and there's just pure chaos. William and Kate are over there doing the same exact thing. It's a price to pay to be rich, royal, and all that jazz. So, alright, I'm out for now.